Its scenery attracts tens of thousands of nature lovers from around the world each year. But man may soon alter the landscape forever. Chile's government just approved the $2.9 billion construction of five hydroelectric dams. This is news about China's new mega dam. Waking up to the ground trembling beneath ancient Tibetan monasteries, sacred sites drowning under rising waters, and entire communities forced to flee. This isn't a dramatic scene from history. It's the looming threat facing Tibet as China's new mega dam fills up. But here's the shocking part. Despite the protests, these centuries-old cultural treasures may soon be lost forever. What's driving this clash between modernization and tradition? Let's get into the heart of the crisis. The unseen risks of China's hydro ambitions. That it wants to construct what it says will be the world's most powerful hydroelectricity dam right here, in one of the most remote locations on the planet. This is the world's most uh, riskiest project. China's rapid industrialization has pushed the country to pursue massive projects, especially in the realm of renewable energy. One of the most ambitious undertakings is harnessing the power of the Yangtze River. This isn't just about keeping the lights on for millions of homes. It's about positioning China as a global leader in clean energy. The Yangtze, Asia's longest river, holds incredible potential for generating hydroelectricity, but it's not without its risks. The region is geologically unstable and prone to earthquakes and landslides, which makes building such a huge structure inherently dangerous. The sheer scale of China's new mega dam has raised serious concerns, especially during its construction phase when tremors were felt along the riverbanks. People began questioning the wisdom of placing such a massive weight on a river that runs through earthquake-prone regions. Even a minor quake could compromise the dam's integrity, and the consequences of failure would be catastrophic, potentially impacting millions. It's easy to see how a symbol of progress could quickly turn into a disaster. These tremors weren't just harmless shakes. They were warnings of the possible unseen risks lurking beneath the surface of this grand hydroelectric dream. Environmental concerns, fragile ecosystems in peril. Waste from around the world is posing a threat to Chile's fragile ecosystem. Mountains of discarded clothing, shoes, and other unrecyclable goods have become a threat to Chile's Atacama Desert. Some point out that the so-called developed nations dump their waste in Chile. While the promise of renewable energy is exciting, it comes with a steep environmental price. The Yangtze River is more than just a waterway. It's a living, breathing ecosystem that supports countless species and communities. Damming the river disrupts that natural flow and the ecological impact is already being felt. Fish populations that have relied on the river's natural cycles are now facing the brunt of this man-made change. Some species are being pushed toward extinction as their habitats are altered beyond recognition. Beyond the environmental damage itself, which is what the court is dealing with, will necessarily have to give rise, I believe, to a slightly more systematic reading, to an integrated view of the state as a whole. Water quality is also taking a hit. The slow movement of water through the dammed areas is leading to the buildup of pollutants, which has a ripple effect on both wildlife and the millions of people who depend on the river. And it's not just about local issues. These ecological shifts could have global consequences. Environmentalists around the world are raising alarms, pointing out that China's mega projects, while impressive in scale, often fail to deliver on their promises of sustainability. The grand visions of clean energy are being overshadowed by the grim reality of environmental degradation, leaving many to wonder whether these dams are truly worth the cost. The human toll, displacement, and destruction. The construction of China's massive dam on the Yangtze River has come at a heavy human cost. Over a million people were forced to leave their homes to make way for this monumental project. Entire communities were uprooted, their villages and farmlands submerged as the dam's reservoir filled. For many, leaving their ancestral homes wasn't just a physical relocation. It meant losing their way of life, their history, and their connection to the land. Imagine being told to pack up and leave everything behind 
knowing that the place you called home for generations will soon be underwater. If you like this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. As if the displacement wasn't hard enough, nature delivered a brutal blow. The Yangtze Basin recently experienced the heaviest rainfall in 60 years, causing floods that left entire towns devastated. The river, already swollen from weeks of rain, overflowed and the consequences were catastrophic. More than 150 people were reported dead or missing, while millions more were forced to evacuate in a scramble for safety. Financial losses are staggering, with damages estimated in the billions. And the tragedy doesn't stop at the immediate destruction. People who lost everything are left to rebuild their lives from scratch, often without the resources to do so. Technological triumphs, but at what cost? Chinese explorers in a Chinese-made spacecraft docked with an orbiting laboratory module. It was China's first ever manual space docking making China only the third nation in the world. On the surface, China's new mega dam is a marvel of modern engineering. It's designed to manage the flow of the Yangtze, protect millions from devastating floods, and generate clean energy for a vast population. This is no small feat. The dam stands as one of the largest hydroelectric projects in the world, capable of producing enough power to light up entire cities. It's hard not to admire the technical brilliance behind it. Yet, with each triumph comes a lurking concern. The region where this dam is built is prone to earthquakes and landslides, making its structural integrity a constant worry. Tremors have already rattled the area, raising fears that the dam might not hold up in the face of a significant seismic event. Landslides triggered by heavy rains are another major concern, as they could potentially weaken the dam's foundation. What's troubling is that once a dam of this size fails, the consequences could be catastrophic, not just for China, but for regions downstream that rely on the Yangtze for water, food, and transport. Cultural Crossroads, the loss of history and identity. The construction of China's new mega dam isn't just threatening the environment or causing human displacement. It's putting entire chapters of Tibetan history at risk of being wiped out. Imagine, the centuries-old monasteries that have stood as quiet guardians of Tibetan culture and spirituality now facing the threat of being submerged beneath the waters of the dam's reservoir. These monasteries, rich with murals, scriptures, and artifacts, aren't just religious structures. They are the heart and soul of Tibetan communities. They represent a connection to history, identity, and tradition and losing them would mean losing irreplaceable pieces of Tibetan heritage. Protests have erupted in local communities as people fight to protect what remains of their cultural identity. But the pushback is met with silence from authorities. Despite the outcry, the Chinese government remains focused on its goals of modernization, often dismissing the concerns of those who feel their heritage slipping away. The monks, villagers, and historians who have spoken up about the dam's impact are not just defending buildings. They are standing up for a way of life that has been passed down for generations. This situation is a clear example of the clash between modernization and the preservation of ancient traditions. On one hand, you have the promise of economic development, energy for millions, and progress. On the other, you have a culture that is deeply connected to its land and history now threatened by that very progress. For the Tibetan people, this isn't just an energy debate. It's a fight for their cultural survival. Dams as symbols of progress or potential disasters. The Three Gorges Dam on China's Yangtze River. It's nuts. It's completely nuts. It's, it's like... One of the many challenges of building here is just how inaccessible this place is. China has long embraced hydroelectric power as a key part of its energy strategy. The Three Gorges Dam, and now this new mega dam on the Yangtze River are symbols of that commitment. Hydroelectric power allows the country to reduce its reliance on fossil fuels and cut down on carbon emissions, a crucial goal for a nation of its size and population. On paper, this seems like a win-win. You generate massive amounts of clean energy, prevent flooding, and bolster economic growth all at once. But there's a darker side to this ambitious plan. 
Building massive dams in earthquake-prone regions is a gamble and one that comes with potentially devastating consequences. The Yangtze River area, in particular, is known for its geological instability. Landslides, tremors, and even full-blown earthquakes aren't rare in this part of the world. Every tremor that shakes the ground beneath the dam raises the question, how much pressure can it handle? And if it fails, the disaster would be unimaginable. Whole towns could be wiped out, millions of lives would be at risk, and the environmental damage would be irreparable. Other countries have faced similar dilemmas with their mega dams. In Russia, the Bratsk Dam is one of the largest in the world, but it faces its own set of challenges due to the harsh Siberian climate. The Guri Dam in Venezuela, a critical source of power for the nation, has also dealt with structural issues over the years. In Egypt, the Aswan High Dam created Lake Nasser, but in doing so, it forced the relocation of ancient temples and significantly altered the natural ecosystem of the Nile. While these dams serve their intended purpose, generating power and preventing floods, they also bring with them long-term risks. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments. And remember to like and subscribe for more intriguing discoveries like this. See you in the next video.